But it was percent So the guy's voice. Apart from that, he only oh, so it's... It's... Uh, I'm trying. It won't let me. Also, don't have to minimize it. Um, I have to minimize this shit. There we go. All right. Yeah, there we go. Cool. It paused. Um, okay. So, um, what's really cool is that this guy, I'm pretty sure this is true. This commentator, um, basically was like, just started a fucking YouTube, like, and, and like did some like really like super small scale tournaments and hosted them and just like did that for a while while everyone was screaming dead game. And like back, we're talking like when Starcraft two was a big deal and everyone moved from Warcraft three, like this guy almost like solo was was doing this sort of the weekend warrior tournament and now that like just because he was so loyal to the game like now he's like kind of everywhere in the scene because he kind of kept it alive um at least the entertainment the consistent entertainment value of it um so this matchup what you're gonna see is well how it used to work that's been a long time um hold on i think i hear my own reverb let me turn that off because i have a mix station thing but what you're gonna see Presumably, if it still works this way, is Undead is going to go for ghouls because the Night Elf will get archers. And so the ghouls will try to be very aggressive against the Night Elves uh, with a Death Knight because um, Night Elf can outcreep uh, Undead for lots of reasons. Usually, Ancients and the fact that they have Moon Wells means that they can heal after they creep, and the Ancients can eat trees and heal, and also they can tank the creeps. So they can creep more camps earlier, faster, with more damage, and heal afterwards. Whereas Undale, Undead only have regeneration. They don't have direct heal until statues come out in Tier 2. So that's what you're going to see. I'm uh, playing it now. And what you're going to see in Tier 2 is Gargoyles. Um, Undead usually uses Gargoyles to use Wisp Harass and also to counter Dryads. Um, which are vulnerable to pierce. To... Did he change his mind? To scout. He built an extra one because just to see where the Night Elf is creeping. Happy is running over in true happy fashion. Whoa, Keeper with this? So Happy was known for being an incredibly aggressive person. Keeper first? will start for Moon, but he's not dodging Happy Saras. Getting the acolyte here would That's be crazy. Bad. Be some okay, so it looks like Moon is probably going to go for an early expand using summons. But of course, uh, some of the heroes are actually going to be better at taking creeps. Who's he going to nuke that orc? Oh, no, he failed! Goes toward, but he didn't get it. That's uncharacteristic for him. Well, we'll probably have to do this. Moon moon probably... Pause again. Moon was like... What made Moon famous was his ability to consistently save his Demon Hunter by staffing the Demon Hunter out at like 10 HP or 4 HP. Like, Moon can keep track of the entire army and like of, his, of the opponent, opposing team and like can do the numbers in his head really quickly. Like, okay, 11 attacks from archers from this to this damage will come in at this point in time. Right. So I know how much damage is going to happen and how much health it's going to have probably. And so, like, cause, like a lot of players just kind of guess it. They're like, uh, you know, after like years when of playing, when I'm playing, a half, you know, I start to run coil. away or something. I know. Right, like, yeah, like you'd think a death coil will be like this much damage on the bar. You're kind of guesstimating it. Like Moon actually counts this shit, yeah, no, as you should. It's the same as most Dota. players should. You count every number yeah, you can. Exactly. I mean, there are times where you make rough estimates because, you know, there's percentages you go to two decimal times. points. And I think there's also more variability in mobas than there are in Warcraft three. Um. You know, but you keep in mind, like, Moon was doing this in 2003. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. I think, I think two uh, calls to begin with. I don't want to say this but I'm like, look how old the they are. They're just like, all of us. Whistle will go down. Like, I know. Like, like, I know. I know. Look at all these young kids. I'm like, the keeper's level two. Moon, and it's like, and happy, I guess, I guess once again. You have wrinkles under your eyes, bro. With a, a oh, Moon, and, Moon always had these sort of weird. This has been the theme for having a game against Lillian. Part of that was like, I used to think it was because of the sleep schedule. So Sky, who is probably the best 
before NP and P00. Zero Sky was probably considered the best human player to ever play the game. And he went and roomed with Moon during like WCG. I think it was WCG. And Sky said when he he went to sleep to Moon practicing. And he woke up to Moon practicing. So he's like he's like literally Moon practicing for 16 hours a day. Um, keep in mind Moon. Moon's orig origins as an RTS player was as a chess player, StarCraft, oh, Brood War player. So, like, that's the routine he, he had but practiced. But the expansion is tremendously in Archer, people come after the human rights. Like on Terran, I stand the moon logos. I mean, with all, in all fairness, uh, it's probably child abuse. Like, <laughs> like child labor. It's pretty bad. Human rights groups? Yeah, went after chess player. Yeah, I know. But after a lot of the Korean organizations, because it was so... I mean, it was... Because they were getting kids to do it. Like if you're a grown adult, you know, real life coming up. Grown adult, whatever. Yeah, they were getting. They were getting. Not very fast. Not very late. Yeah. He doesn't have to walk the tree over. That's yeah, it was gross. It was really bad. Without the tree, it was something like. No, but like you know, there were there were kids. And there were other yeah, there were other kids that were being back. Like yo, you. He went for the usual opening. It's gross. You can't do that to kids. And yeah, they were doing it to kids. And you know, that's one of the things where like people. Cool. One of the best things, okay. I don't often like what Thorin says, but one of the best things I think he's ever said was that CSGO, one of the good things about it is that the people can have a life, um, and it's a game with a, with a culture where that's possible. Um, that was a detonate. Yes. Coil the wisp there, is that worth it? Close to level 2. Level 2 prevented. Yes, always. Um, okay. I know very yeah. little yeah. about the Warhammer audience. 3, obviously I know StarCraft, and Just I know we got a claw for some hero, other uh, Hero skeletons. experience no for doubt. Undead also is no at a premium. Um, also, level, level 2 is, is a big deal for uh, the Death Knight. Um, the speed boost and the regeneration... I'm just, I'm just the speed boost is, is okay, so but the regeneration yeah. on Blight so is really necessary because you just don't have a lot of ability to heal without coil. Um, so, six archers, though, into Hunter's Hall. That's I mean, right, but Feast I, I, I don't think it's so tier 1. That's that's certainly yeah, should I don't think no Feast is tier 1. Unless he wants to go for early upgrades, but that would be very weird. Must be... I think that was tier 2. I think it's tier 2. Must be lores here on tier 2 as it is finishing up. I I mean, I only played it because my friends wanted to play it. Had a lot more. Yeah, it it's been it's, it's been a long, long, long time, and I also didn't play Undead, Panda. but this, yeah. this I just remember healing for Undead is at a premium tier one. Knows exactly what's going on. Um, okay, that so he's at tier two. He has he has not willing to sacrifice Coil them to so he has two heroes in tangle. Of course, well, not too easy to do with DK and Lich only. Does it give you have to invest some Coil Nova here for these last hits? Split it and give twenty five. It splits it, and there's also a one hero advantage, or uh, one hero XP boost. Um, really doesn't want to face the higher level of their heroes and is trying to um, kill as much as possible. Which people don't generally do because, like, you know, two heroes are just going to be really good. The scroll of the beast. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking like, nice. nice. yeah, for the which you can. Yeah. Pretty much always. Um, oh my god, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, um, this is. Two would have you like to play against Mass Drive? I was talking about a little bit earlier. And what does Zero do? What it almost seemed like the Transvestation no, was trying Happy to get is, to. The Mass A Long, Mass weird. Wagon style. Um, Something that is very rare. It's already really weird. <laughs> almost only so what Moon is doing is he's, his Keeper is harassing right now, because the Keeper of the Grove is pretty fast. Um, and has Entangle, which is like a pretty good harassment spell. Um, yeah. Second claw. Yeah. Happy Bob just so won now this is a big deal. Um, and that's why also Happy is creeping a lot more aggressively. He's trying to keep up with so Moon. Just keep in mind, creeps don't just give experience, they give money. I mean, it's the same as a MOBA, right? So, like, there's an econ game here going on, right? Um, so, one of the things that you're going to see Moon do, I believe, is get Dryads, which is dangerous for happy right now because then when he's going to be relying a lot on coil nova summons and statues statues only do damage when you upgrade them to destroyers um, and so the monsters are not the dwellers he's really third claw of attack plus 23 moon's harass moon's distraction continues with an entanglement the ghoul but the big upgrade is already out of the way against coil 
Destroyer and now. Staff out, so Chief this will, will, will not die. Let's just pre yeah, pick it yeah. for him. DK, though, with the Shade, is not getting the experience, and it's not a yeah. low So it has to go pretty much for either the 6 o'clock on yeah. Risky or early yeah. or the I can't use Warcraft Blue. Yeah. Another yeah. Item. Um, so this is going to be a big deal right here. Okay, so basically, Ghouls, because the Panda is level 3, Ghouls are basically not even an option anymore. Um, like, so the Pandarian Brewmaster has the most powerful AoE wombo combo in the game. Because not only is this Breath of Fire like, really strong anyway, um, it also attacks a mechanical air units, which is important for not this match, but like, it's really, really good. Um, but it also has, um, he has, pun uh, like, Pandarian... Uh, Drunken Haze, I think it's called. Um, and so what it does is that you, you, it, for very little mana cost, you put a debuff on people, and that debuff makes them miss more, but more importantly, your Breath of Fire does like 50 more damage at level 8. It, it, it's, it's really strong. It, it, it affects your... your it, Mm -hmm. just well. yeah. just put a mischance on someone but it's not even a mischance in this game it's the fact that it it's going to do that extra damage and it's worth it for that extra damage because ghouls are just going to blow up um and so you might see ha well happy here doesn't have a heal scroll i don't think because he's not relying on ghouls and so now we have this is weird okay so this attack is going to be a hard one for Happy, he's not done. Um, a good time. and, and time Happy hasn't expanded, the and forest. Moon has had this expansion up for a really long time. It's very close to level okay, so he's like probably just going to farm off the summons by using the destroyers on him. I don't have any plans to get that down. Is. Okay, yeah, that was, that's, that's a good move. Oh my god. <laughs> that was savage. Okay, so he's just going for whatever picks he can. I don't think he has any creeping options, so he kind of has to do this. Do creeps um, should be really strong here. The game, yeah. There's, There's no, no fiend at all. Not a single yeah. whiff. Yeah. I mean, the list um, is a decent So it's kind of a whiff, Master. Yeah, it's not yeah, really yeah, a consequence. He's going to spend the minute. My moon wells are a thing. He was not a fan of just clicking through expansions. Oh, the breath of fire heard a lot. Yeah, so he has to wait. Notice how he's back. The archers all lined up. Triple Nova. One right click, two right clicks. He's dead. There's, There's more, more coils, coils. could uh, be more kills. This, this is supposed to be only destruction. So archers, coil nova, and the sort of om nom noms archers. And Moon doesn't have a lot of dryads out. So if Moon has more dryads, this is a very, very different fight. The attack is gone. And the panda can't go back in, he's too low. I guess Lich is low. Mana, what is going on? This is only a couple of ghouls and an A-bomb. And a super crazy Lich to be honest. Absolutely. It's, it's a plus 32 lit. Yeah, this is putting so much damage. Yeah, this is like, that's pretty sad. So the claws of attack, like, look at the claws of attack of Archer. You see it, and you see, like, that one lit attack is a third of the Archer total. That... Okay, the so goes down. the there's a scout by Moody. I've seen this in the last five hours. What can you do about, about it? it? Nothing. Okay, the minus five. The really and then all those claws of attack. And the Lich has a really high attack speed and high attack base damage to begin with. So the, the attack damage on the Lich is really high. Because this is really nutty. And this is something that when I played Warcraft 3, I never really got into, never appreciated. As far as something I picked up from Marvel's and I'm trying to translate into my game. Is that heroes, the itemization of heroes is really important. And the other reason I and pick that up as, as a game knowledge thing. I played human, which is like the race that's least affected by what drops you get. Um, can gladly fall back. This was a great attack for him. He bought so much time. With it. Finally bringing the A-bomb on the main as well, which was for Copper for a little while. Heal scrolls are a big deal. Happy would love to play them. No but the wars, the hippogriffs. Um, so, Coil Nova on the Hippogriffs, not as effective as the Coil Nova, the Hippogriffs are pretty easy. Um, yeah. Oh, the Coil ends up on the Destroyer, sacrifices this in over it, 7 seconds, the disease cloud is spread, so, Coil will heal for a lot. Uh, the Coil will heal for a lot. Where's the Coil the Lich? Here we go, third abomination, the air fights, and the Moon, one by one, he's not doing too much again, that's still absence of feed, and Tangela gets the A-bomb, Happy wants another item, I guess, but still plenty of coins. So Where right now the coil is on his cooldown from the Lich, and so he's trying to focus like on one. And he's running out of range, oh. yeah. the hippo kills it, yeah. and now the keeper basically is so this is what Moon is really, 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 really good at, is forcing the chain. The ground, right? Can't so deal like, right now, Happy has to prioritize the spiral targeting the A-bombs, but the A-bombs don't do a lot of damage, and they don't have a lot of utility. The disease cloud is kind of a thing, but it doesn't really affect them that much. A tanker? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ye
Did he, Did he build, build, build towers, towers the expansion by now? There's only a single narrow, nothing, nothing else. else. Did these gold mines ever happen? 500 gold. He's not yeah, 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 they run out. 600 gold. What's he waiting yeah. for now? Is that too okay, late? Okay, so right now. Take time to produce. They don't have an upkeep counter that I see. What do you mean by that? Seems like it's going back to destroy us. But I don't know, these hippo are just gonna snipe the stats if you ask me. We'll see. Oh, God, it's coming. That's the right idea. They will distract, but will they kill? Oh. Moon sitting between the rally. He's going guards. That might be something I didn't give credit. He might have thought that Happy was going for guards earlier. But the destroyer is in the middle of everything. Breath of Fire right now. This time with Dragon Haze, okay, so there is a miss chance. Destroyer almost killed the Because Gargoyles are actually better than Hippogriffs. Gargoyles are some of the best anti here in the game. Yeah, but that's... They don't do well without numbers like that. Hippogriffs are also, like, exceptional anti here. Yeah, I think Happy has to force a TP or die. And so that's why he's zero targeting death. Desperately, because like he, he, I don't know how he won that ground battle last time, other than is the key for exposed in the back. Your supply is opening up this way with a tree and a nice idea by Moon. Seems like the hunter gold line is falling here. Happy trying to find something. That was the theory of why we lost the last battle, but it's also like happy to watch there. So many bears, he doesn't have the damage to deal with these bears anymore. We have another great coming in. Panda, he finds it, but no fall. Is there a little bit of more? Oh my God. If he gets Get it, he gets the, he gets the Hunt and Gold Mine and Keeper Lives. So the only advantage that, that um, Happy has right now is the hero advantage. Right? So you can kind of break down Warcraft 3's advantages into Army advantage, Econ advantage, and hero advantage. He got it. Um, oh, all right. Right. Army and he got it on the lead, main. but then but it didn't use the TP in time. Lost, lost the lead, lost, lost so much of his army. army. As so what to the three that I know the main. main and, no, your th so your third one hero one. doesn't initially give a lot of benefit. So with. It depends on how. So, like, if you think about what hero would be really synergistic to those two heroes, there's not a lot of options on the table. Um, you probably want an intelligence hero at this point, except that would get blown up, right? Like, a level one strength hero spells are really weak. Like, there's not a, str a strength hero spells are kind of like there's nothing he could really do that would. If it's also a really expensive investment, it's like 500 gold. Um, it's it's also five supply. It's a lot, um, and for very little return in the short term. Um, and it won't scale as well. Like whereas as happy as you know DK and Lich, like all you need is a third hero that has a nuke, and all of a sudden you have a lot of synergy, right? It's like a really simple thing to do. And the Tinker has a stun AOE that's pretty good. He also has Pocket Factory, which is pretty good AOE damage. So there's a lot of there's a lot of damage potential. And when you have statues giving mana, um, here, pause it for me. I gotta run one quick. Yeah, once again, his guard haven't done sure. this too much. Just... Let's see if my clothes are dry yet. Only because yeah. I have to put the next set of laundry in. I forgot how much I knew about this game. I can't even believe how stacked that fucking lich is. Ridiculous. Those are almost dry. I have to go pick up someone at the port. Oh, did my headset die? Hello? No, you're good. Or, yeah, I hear you. Go ahead and start it back up. Sure. Um. Just yet? Like, like gave some mana to the lid. That's it. Heal scroll and in will end up mana push. Mana push is the most important. So I'm not sure I when. I'm not sure 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 yeah. It's a lot about positioning. Moon, of course, knows that Happy is not mining from two mines, and he has um, to catch up. This is a lot See, that worked. Like he's patiently I don't know claiming okay, we're good. control once again, but he's actually slow. Yeah. Start. So... How many bears do you have? God, I mean, so Moon... Five? Six. Whenever you kill a haunted it's not gold that many. If so the it's funny that people die. say that Undead is analogous to Zerg in Warcraft 3. It's actually not really true. Um... Yeah, he needs to get the destroyers because at the moment it's not really beneficial to have 
two more statues on your heroes of full mana. Right are basically full on mana. Um, 73 so supply, suddenly for happy. happy. Where did this, this come, come from? from? I wonder, I wonder how, how much is the little production. Moon is pushing okay. again. Wants this one all right now. Drunken Haze Breath of Fire. Is there a little bit of damage? damage? And there is Mrs. from the Lynch now, who's, who's taking oh wide so some damage in the middle of all the bears again. Retreats and catches the coil. Waiting for the Nova once more, using it on the Hippo for Growth Axe. The Hippo should be used very quickly. The Hippo's find the damage. Watch all of these destroyers in the other source are all gone. No more dispel now for Happy. Can you do it? Even without. Against the Keeper of the Growth. That would be massive. Panda in the back, taking a lot of damage. Drunken Ace for the fire rate returning. A lot of damage will be on the side. The A-bomb also close to dying. Ultimate, kind of far away. Actually, the Panda, not too far away, honestly. Also, Panda's ultimate. Going for the hero again. This Nero Tower is putting in a lot of work. It's going to be the in-ball force here pretty soon. 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 So, so with all the cooldown right And Earthstorm on fire is pretty close as well. Coil dodged with an info. Moon so strong. Level 3 on the Tinker now. But that explodes the Panda. Does he have free damage? No one is ready but another info use. 7 seconds. Where's the Coil? It doesn't have that. Dodge on the breath of fire with an info. Not falling for this now. 7 seconds leads to healing and the region. But it's only one statue there. The bears are moving forward. It's a 30 supply lead. Coil is ready. Lynch is the only savior here. TP out by Moon once more. Did it kill the expo this time and get the bear on the way out? But happy again, losing 25 supplies, yep. and Moon has a thousand so, gold. Okay. Um, and if the A bombs didn't have tough enough of a time earlier, so now, okay, so Tinker usually gets Pocket Factory with the Happy amazingly has been holding on for so long. Most, Most other so right now, a long time ago Keeper of the Grove and Panda wave. are almost level 6, and those are two really good ults. Um, How's that go again? He, Happy seems really good ults. Um, like, hold on, like, let me just, like, really good. Oh, yeah. Um, so good. Um, um, so Transcendence is the Keeper of the Gro Grove ultimate, and that is an AoE heal over time. It's channeled, is the only weakness, but you can only break channeling if you... Usually, I am not a big fan of chimps at all, they get hot countered by fiends. Yeah, so, and Tinker has a stun, but that's not what he got, so he need to get a Tome of Retraining, which is like, forget, so it's not cheap. Um, you get it from the shop, so you'd have to get it from the shop. I would love to know how much gold is left in the moon to expand. That is the key. Because you don't get... He, with Tinker, he has three skills. He has Pocket Factory, Rocket Barrage. I don't know if that's the name, but it's Rocket Barrage. And then a gear thing that buffs one of them. Or buffs buff, one more uh, time, both of them. And more the buff times, is a pathway. Three more times, and then um, so and with you don't have the mana pool to use both abilities. So you get, if, like, I've seen Pocket Factory be used in the fight. So it means he has Pocket Factory. And I haven't seen him get, oh, he has Chimera. Because he has Air Dome and Those are like, you should those. It's those honestly like, not yeah, that the much. damage those do. Yeah, it's like it's like one death coil per attack. It's like a lot of damage. And then trying to so fucking strong now. It's so goddamn ridiculous. Pushing again for the victory. Um, oh, geez, look at how much damage that is. Look at how much damage that is. The bows are kind of useless at the moment. Yeah. Big Breath of Fire, Drunken Haze coming in towards the A-bomb. But yeah, only one chim is real. The damage, damage here is still good, good, but not too crazy. crazy. But Roar coming in yeah. as well, also now. And no one is well against any of this. Did How do you did see what's going on, honestly? Where is the coil? Is it ready? We are not close. Uh, we are still close to level 6, but happy taps out. Moon continues his rapid to get the undeads in this tournament. Three yeah. maps. That's interesting that he's changed okay. heroes. It used to be that you... you wait, like. People used to call the Demon Hunter imbalanced. There was a joke that, like, the Demon Hunter is so imbalanced you can never kill him because you'll kill himself. Because of a death animation, um, it's just sort of like a bad animation where the, the uh, Demon Hunter blade goes through the stomach of the Demon Hunter. Um, and so it's like, you don't kill the Demon Hunter, he kills himself before you even get to. Um, and it seems like no one's using the Demon Hunter. Because one of the things that would happen that was really hard to deal with is that one of the, like, healing is already really, really hard for undead. But if you're a demon hunter and you keep mana burning the, the DK before statues are out, then you have no healing options as undead. So it's, like, really, really hard to deal with. You have this really strong melee that basically negates everything and everybody that any hero can do. 
like, um, and does a ridiculous amount of damage, is really strong, really tanky. Um, so it's interesting to see that there's a meta switch because the Demon Hunter is fucking good. But as you can see, man, you have so much map control and threat with, with, threat with counter attacks in those trains. They last forever. The damage the output is massive. And it looks like they buff them. I don't know, man. They, they look really strong. Have they made balance to Warcraft 3? They have, they have, yeah, they started making them. They've been active level 2. Yeah. So look at these damage output on the current half. No, doing it with the hero is going to be fast as well for him. I tried to, uh, because they released Warcraft. Pretty unfortunate items earlier on from Windows 10. That works on Windows 10. I tried to get to Warcraft 1. It was so bad, I had to stop. Yeah, dude, it's not. Cause it was it was revolutionary at the time, but it's definitely not aged well. The whole road system is fucking baffling. It's, it's, no, it's, it's, it's not even that. It's like your units would be in attack mode, and like happens. the enemy oh, would yeah. attack my guys, and my guys just would not attack them back. Against night elf, sometimes uh, I'm just like, what's going on? My, there's no mic. In the early days of, of StarCraft, not even Brood War, in the early games of the days of StarCraft yeah. vanilla. Um, you're talking about, like, people thought microing was dumb because of Warcraft 2. It was like Warcraft 2, they didn't micro units because they were fucking potato stuff. Like, um, micro was really, it took Boxer to be like, listen, man, my micro is a really good idea. You should control Marines all the time. Yeah, yeah. Like, Oh, oh, you don't like that? Oh, God, you're gonna really hate this. No, if, you, if you watch all StarCraft yeah. replays, like, Hydralisks will be attacking, and they'll get Psy Stormed, and back then it was thought that it's not worth putting the effort into trying to dodge Psy Storm. Like, you just, you just yeah, need it. You just back close to the bank. Yeah, it's crazy, man. I mean, that's the thing, is RTSs are so fucking high. Even MOBAs are the same. It's just so complicated. So that detonation means that he no longer has the one skeleton. Um, I don't know if the, the Keeper gets experience from Detonate. Um, so it's looking kind of yeah. similar, like the game detonates, which which kill, does damage to summon there, units the and like gives a mana burn but, but no AoE. Houses. We have um, archers this time around. That's cool. And he also denies experience. And so he got a skeleton and some of the mana from the DK from that. Keep Why did he level just three? Skeleton That's the big right level up for him, the big power spike. DK already with the Why did he deny it? No, why did he feed it? It looks like he fed it. I don't think he wants to keep the chocolate on anything. There's nothing wrong around here with the absence of skeleton. I don't know if he fed it. He knows what's up, doesn't know the timings exactly. Not I don't know, I would need to go back. Only one this time. So this is this is what I meant by you can get experience across the map. Looks like Happy's kind of wasting a lot of time. So, Very yeah, the commentator is really pointing out, there's like, DK, the DK is not really getting anything done, and Happy's not really accomplishing anything, Moon is just creeping for free, like, I mean, it's not, it's not a good situation. That is the big level up, That's level and the three. panel second again. And you get a panda. Okay, so right now, Happy, Happy Moon. Do he is the very hard to win. He's 10 supply difference. So he has an army now, disadvantage. No, okay, Moon, uh, Moon has the, the Tree of Life Shut up. 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 So that expansion will be there. And so we'll then Happy will have the... Oh, he forces the... Oh, he has a Staff and TV. Good. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, Okay, this is a ballsy move. So he knows he's behind, so he's taking a risk by taking one of the harder This is the nice thing now about Moon having a trap pot on his natural earlier. If it was still there, it's entirely a grief deck once again. Could be very scary like it was earlier. Against 1 to 0. But now, the rest of it is easy to take. So the Lich is staying out of range to not soak experience from the camp so the DK can get level 3. Because level 3 on DK is not a big deal. Level 3 is a big level, right? Like, the odd levels are really big deals. Like, 3, 5, obviously 6 are the odds. Yeah, you, level, you get new level 2 and 3 comes to your, of your big spell when you're investing. And obviously death coil is a big deal. make work here. Creep camps here um, are harder you go from in 75 general. damage to 150 heal to 150 damage and 300 heal. Like, going for the lab? Can't do that at all. Yeah, doubles going in anywhere else? Also so the hero possible. doubles in value. So the panda should have a tougher time getting to level 3. Um, he of course knows that the tree is on the way with four skeletons. Two of them are about to expire. But right now, this is really... Oh my god, did he get the kill? 
If he catches the tree, where are the west? Breath is nice. Wisp is again not coming. Okay, he's not killing. But he's going to do a lot of the archer. And this is just going to blow up our archer. Perfect shadow mount. Oh, you're so gross. You micro is so gross that. Timing. How long does it take shadow mount to kill you? And more HP. Ah, about like one full second. Destroy. It takes a while, but that timing was bees. And here's the thing about Moon Man, it's like, you think that that was lucky? No, he did. He's so is he gonna go all against us now, or is he gonna come back again? He does that. Like, every match, and he's been doing that for two years, man. That's what makes him so crazy. Like, he's not like, oh, I hope that Archer lives. He's like, no, it's gonna fucking life. It's my time to put it in. Like, like, I'm just a god. Whatever. His nickname is the fifth race, like... Another Nova, another kill, on to an archer. There's, there's Night Elf, Undead, Orc, Human, and fucking Moon. Like, he's a god, dude. I need to show you, have you ever seen that Zeppelin play that he did against Todd? Like, still famous, man. It's fucking disgusting. He, he's microing in a Zeppelin, like a dropship basically, low health unit, while blocking, simultaneously blocking the pathing of the Archmage, so that he can get, he can deny, so basically he threatens the kill and forces an item, a really big impactful item to be used by the Archmage. And he does it while saving, so that's like, it's crazy, like now he's saving his units, but he's also killing things. It's the craziest micro you'll ever see. Like, that's why I don't, I don't, I don't like growing up, I don't know if I have it's different. It's different. It's different micro. It's, it's, you can't really compare it. Um, the objectives are different, and what you can do is totally different. This is important. Solo creep should be enough, I think. I would say that's like basically the um, some stalker micro and like immortal micro is basically. Have what you seen the the war prism immortal micro these days? Oh my god, dude, I don't know. How it's disgusting so is it? absurd. It's yeah. so dumb, and then they like. Seven of time in the war prism speed. I think round of eight and now oh, no. today. That the opponent uh, of Happy gets a big oh I've been following a lot of Starcraft too. Going for, going for the red cap, but he may not necessarily have the time for this. At least the big boy should be doable though, with the entangled focus. That's another level 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 three panel though. Solved for the most part, but the issue is the units with the immortals and the But okay, stop going into math. Why did these players fall? Why did Lemmy fall or whatever? With this have to be like, oh, a dragoon is shooting at my tank. I can pick it up with my dropship, and now the dragoon misses, and then I can drop my. But still, the ghouls again. The ghouls again. Lich is level 2. Nova doesn't hit that hard. TP comes in. This is what he wants to strike clicking. Tell his dad. Happy realizes this. Nova comes in. Not much repair. He is. Is he right clicking this now? He did. He did do that for a long time. Look at him from the repair first. He comes with the A bomb damage. And he gets rid of the tree. Fight or get out. Staying in this for now, why right. not hit another Nova there onto the Archer to keep coiling the Ghoul actually? And the A-Bomb, he doesn't have the damage to deal with him, the Ghouls are starting to drop low, even with the Devour coming and getting rid of that experience and at least good drive control as always, he can connect to A-Bomb. How is he supposed to deal with all his HP? Oh, the Lich is cleaning house here, who's just turning around getting a double kill and now... Happy is chasing with that so, Unreal Orb. Moon is trying to react to the Tier 3, bringing in these bears as well as so successful. It's really hard to get an income advantage, and it's really hard to have a unit advantage, because my LP is really good, and kind of like they come out at good timing. So it's probably interesting why he goes with A-Bombs, because one of the things that Night Elves can do, or sorry, Undead can do against Night Elves, is you just blow shit up and get a lot of experience really quickly. So even in a hero advantage, so many more Nova, so many more coils. You can't even get the drive, but certainly against the heroes. Panel now is going to lock. Archers, LOL, coil, Nova, I heard it's pretty good. It has been the second point. Lifetime of the game. Moon can't fight. He can't fight even with Moonwell. Exactly. Happy was positioning himself nicely at Moon. This is crazy. I'm surprised to have that. That is a memory for him. The Lich is a gambling god and kills Dryad after Dryad. The Lich is a gambling god. I don't like that. Not falling. And yeah, the positioning of Happy was so great, Heatwag was coming in, that Moon was not able to get to a majority of these Moon Wells. Oh, oh, okay. oh, 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 o
But the dry attack because dry attack a lot of damage. It's almost uh, kind of worth it. Damage from it, 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 it looks like he can dodge the siege. Like, is it a ground target thing for me? And now he's tier 3, but the dry is stuck. He can't go for pairs. Yeah, so boom. He's healing, healing up at the, the fountain. fountain. He needs, he needs this. this. Everything, Everything is so, so hurtful. Hurt thanks, thanks to the disease. disease. But, but in the main, yeah, so that's the other problem. Is that the abomination is dead already? Killed already. Third and one. And so you can't really. That's it's an it's a degen. Gold for you. Um, and it doesn't do, do much damage by itself, but it means that like you know units don't regenerate health and last for fucking ever, right? So he has to go do something about that. That wag didn't do much. Looks like it's gonna be counterattacked and worth a lot of level three panda. Yeah, he's ready to take that. that fight. Oh, he's he's in, in, this, in the middle, middle of everything, trying to duke the panda, but I guess it's not enough. The these cards once again spreading, everything is hurt. Lich is almost not touched. This is just a slaughter. Heal scroll being used super early. Destroy us safe from small by the coil. This is all the mana in the world for having to use save from the trees. Not really working. The last hit against the dryad. Level up for the DK. Now he's duking the panda. This is looking really good. Oh boy. A demonstration of rules by hand. Happy as he equalizes the series oh, and it is now a That was quick game for the last one. Right, getting the equalizer there. Look at those sketches there for Happy. The early game yeah. seemed yeah. to be pretty, pretty, pretty solid. solid. For Ooh. Moon, got the, the expansion up. Happy was one of the few, like, European releases. Oh, the Europeans were a lot. Like, Koreans were still really, really dominant. But, like, you had a lot of Europeans that... But, like, like, RTS, yeah. well. well, but not, it's not the same, it's not the same. So like Grubby was like the best player in the world for many years. And Grubby was the best um, work, abuser of work, what? This I, I, I uh, double scroll 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 two to three A bomb. I tried to make a Starcraft run and failed, but don't have the numbers yet. You don't have the focus. Well, you didn't fail. You did pretty well, actually. Um, for one, I know. I know. It's just no, actually. So other people that I play with, they all complain about work. That's not really. If Depends if they played on dead yet. Yeah. That's like a 70-30 matchup, dude. They did. Although apparently it's not anymore. Okay, yeah. If they play Undead, then you really have done like work. Yeah, because you just go, uh, Blade Master and then just, uh, kill all my Acolytes. They can't do anything, or you yep. kill everything else. Well, it's, it's also just like... I have to stay on tier 1 so I can rebuild my workers that you kill. Oh, but you know I don't have tier 2, I lose. Well, like, Grunts kill everything that Undead has at tier 1, and if you get Crypt Fiends and try to amass a good amount of Crypt Fiends, then you just get Raiders, and then Raiders net the Crypt Fiends, and, like, Blade Master is really good, and, <laughs> like, it's not much you can do. Um, it's just, like, for a long time it wasn't figured out, but apparently it's changed. And the meta has changed, and now it's like a better matchup. For the lifespan one, one so of far. the game, uh, it when it was in its, in its prime time, it was considered lost. like undoable. It was 70 30. It was really, really hard. Well, I mean, it sounds big, like uh, it's hard to some back on chart. Guild Grunts, and a Blade Master. And if they act to tier 2, build Raiders, kill their workers. If they stay on tier 1, build Grunts. And just Almost fight. Solo panda plus five archers. You win. Like, yeah. For the longest time, human versus undead was like that. Destroyer is kind of like the biggest thing that humans have are um, casters. That's like their casters are some of the strongest. Um, and un undead just like eat nom 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 casters for for dinner. Like it's delicious. Um, and also the, the Undead Tri-Hero was considered just better than the Human Tri-Hero, but then TH-00 came along and really developed... Sorry, TH-000, I fucking hate that name. Fu, we're gonna call him Fu. Um, but that, that guy came around and revolutionized that matchup. Um, by going Paladin first and using a lot of mercenaries. Um, yeah, because like you don't have to use three of your four heroes right, so to Like you could like buy heroes instead, right? Yeah, you can go to the tavern. But you can also you can also like so um, the paladin was considered not a good idea for a long time because the archmage is just really good, like all around really solid, really easy to understand and put your brain around. Um, and so it just took a long time for people to figure out how to use the paladin in. Human versus Undead, because what people would do is they'd get the Paladin, this is when the game like first came out, they get the Paladin, they tower up on one base, 
um, and then they would try to harass the undead, and it was really difficult to get a return because you're on one base, you're spending all this amount of money on your paladin and static defense, and it's not worthwhile, but tier zero zero changed it around by um, having a lot of map control with mercenaries, which have a lot more synergy with the paladin, because footmen don't really do a lot, especially against undead. And so what you're talking about is this sort of like unit comp that doesn't do jack all that you can keep alive whoop de do. Um, and so what you did was like footmen do anything. You obviously played no you never played footman wars or footmen. Footman. 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 Back in wars dude. Championship. Footies. Yeah, those upgraded footies are mean, dude. Almost ten years ago, nine and a half now. Yeah, and last time a Russian won a champion. Dude, those memories. Nostalgic land. So the, the yeah that matchup was really interesting the way that it got changed because with the with the incorporation of mercenaries with uh, the with the paladin you could easily take an expansion um, and you didn't even have to tower up too much you, you'd use a little bit of tower. Um, but the real thorn in everyone's side is that level 3 Paladin, Man because it would be Amazonia that level 3, the, three for the, fifth race. Who's the Paladin that can come in, yak and accolade, and light, and then accolade is fucking this is dead to the rock. And you have an vulnerability shield, and you have a 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 Who thought this fucking second of invulnerability was a good idea? Who the fuck thought that? Like, so, which happens yeah. also so I have a funny story about doing balance. Is that what's going to be happening here? Who thought that's a good idea? So Honestly, Dustin Browder, already the lead designer of Wings of Liberty, the worst star to ever made. Um, yeah. Looks like a very strong opening by the night. There's worse that have been made, but by a triple it by like a big studio. It's, it's up to the undead here to come up with something. It, to call Wings of Liberty a Starcraft game idea. is it's a an joke. Insult. It's an insult to the brand. Yeah. But anyway. Um, so, I worked with a bunch of people that knew him because he used to be the Command Conquer guy, he worked at Western Studios, and Wings of Liberty came out, and I was talking to them, and so Wings of Liberty came out, yeah, I was talking to them, and they're like, yeah, Dustin Browder, he's a jackass, like, he thinks he's way smarter than he is, and I'm like, I've never met the guy. I mean, he did so I don't know, a but if you think mm -hmm. Steps of War is a balanced StarCraft II map, that was it, right? That was the name of it? Yeah, <laughs> but here's, here's my Bro, problem with that. We got problems. The, Liberty. the whole design, design policy of Wings of Liberty was that they were basically, they made a bunch of, when the game first came out, they made a bunch of fucking maps. The whole idea was let's build a ladder system where we can extrapolate a shit ton of data and maximize like all our decision making abilities for our data hard to make um, it, though, honestly moon has to make a mistake so they made a bunch of maps with a, like that one that was really big and one that was really small i'm like okay cool so you could do that or you could look at the fucking starcraft brew war game the one that's been out for like fucking 10 years and fucking like extrapolate a lot of like there are people who who there are industries around this fucking game people understand the meta they understand these ideas you don't need to start from scratch you're being disrespectful and when people would say hey why the fuck is steps of war in a competitive which is our RTS, RTS, RTS tournament like what the shit is wrong with you and they're like well we're testing it out like, you don't need it's like me basically saying, okay, I, I, I came up with this idea, Matt. It's called arithmetic, okay? You've never heard of it. It's cool. Oh, you have heard of it? Fuck you. I don't think your arithmetic mind's better. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Well, like, one I mean, one was figure it out, man. I, but I agree with them saying if you want to play StarCraft Brood War, go play StarCraft Brood War. That was one thing I did agree with them. I just felt there were so many issues with the game, and a lot of those have been fixed by now. Yeah, no. The, the, the Big things yeah, were like, uh, oh yeah, Legacy of the Void is the best RTS ever made. I'll, I'll go on the record and say that. Um, some people would say it's Brood War, some people say it's Warcraft 3. Both absolutely valid options. Um, but I, I would I would stake my reputation on saying Legacy of the Void is the best RTS ever made. Um, 
He's scouting for an expansion, but anyway, he is perhaps considering the possibility yeah, of when it comes to who the fuck thinks this, this balance is good, it's like, you'd be surprised so the people that they put in charge of balancing and designing these games, get from that? they're not necessarily well liked. Or good. Well, the thing is, is my biggest gripe with a lot of these game developers, they hate quote, e and again, people. He's continuing to like, all these game devs, they're like, dude, they're not good at the game. They don't understand the game. I'm like, actually, they're very good at the game. They know more about the game than you do. Like, I don't care if you feel like, oh, I created this from scratch. so good. Yes, that matters. But when you're telling me you're good because this one time you played a five versus one against five people and you won with a hidden base strategy, I'm going to look at you and say, you don't even even understand two plus two you're literally an imbecile you can i don't even know how you made a video game ever in your life right one, so one counter argument well i overwhelmingly agree with that generally one counter argument just to be devil's advocate um did you see that they had to nerf the og yeah. Really, really oh, it really is in the CS. In CSGO, they didn't nerf the, right. the AUG because, like, n you know, no one would use it and then they reduced the AUG price and people were like, after the game's been out for fucking how long, and people are like, wow, this is a really good gun. No, we should use this every round. Yeah. And like, and then everyone was like, it's too good, it needs to be nerfed. So they nerfed it. And it's like, it's like, this gun has been available since release oh, here we go. apparently it's like super imbalanced everyone sucks yeah. all pros oh, okay. suck like, you know what I mean well, well, let's well let's the thing is is tier 3 slaughterhouse sometimes people get the groove of doing what they like you know it's uh, so Deagle, AKM, There's no step this time on the DK, the not that you need to get out of for the first yeah, time in this series. Yeah, right. We have Because Mad they've made a lot of changes to guns, other guns have become the viable. Wins and you know, there was a time when that was a lot of Like it was earlier on LR. You know, 5-7, yeah, yeah. rest, 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 rest in peace. Tech 9, rest in peace. CZ, got nerfed. Um, but I like that they, now, that they're constantly changing the items, and I think the AUG is very good for went through a series of, of rebalances, you know, buffs and nerfs, and well, so maybe it's been nerfed to the ground now, but, yeah, a lot of the CS have watched it. to the ground, people are still using it, because I think, I think people have just gotten really good at aiming. But, so, well, like, I mean, I would like, say like, 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 before that's everyone else used it because I don't want an op. I want something where if a lot of people are going to come around a corner, I can spray. I also want something that I can fucking use a scope so I don't got to, like, barely look at small little pixels that are reasonable range. And it's it's better, the advantage of an AUG. I think it's also a map pool thing. Like, a lot of the maps have really these really long distances to where, like, even rifles without a scope struggle. So, like, I think map pool. Will dictate the metal a lot too because my old man eyes. I can't see shit without that scope. Maybe to get yeah, ditto, man. Now. Ditto. That scope is like good for old men. I like, imagine. Those scopes, I, man, we like, need to play Counter Strike. We gotta use different weapons because we're old and we can't see anymore. What do you mean you can't aim down sights with a gun? This even have a second play. There's, so, there's a lot of people that would say that though. Iron sights, no there's, you know, every gun should Always have uh, an iron sight. The man or had nothing to work um, with. What, what's, a, what'd you say, AS? Right as well. Not easy to Aim down sight. Aim down sight, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the second thing you pick face is out of the game. Um, so, um, sends out the I don't, I don't think it's a... I think it's some bad yeah. criticism, well, but I don't. Just, I, I also think yeah, it's just because people play. BRs. Were you angry at pro players for not doing that? Happy now. Oh, it's, it's a useful thing to have in a game. I think. ADS oh, this creep, this creep track track could be promising. Level three, you know, plenty of damage from level two. Call against the first kill right away. Keep you also pretty hurt. And Tango to slow things down. No Bobo is ready as well. Oh, dodge! Not left, not right, not center. Nothing. I just want a fucking crosshair. I don't need a goddamn gun in my way. Give me a clear screen. That's my biggest gripe with all of these fucking games. I can't stand it. I'm like, excuse me, if I can't have a dog, go fuck yourself. I mean, you can adjust a lot. No, see, it's good. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, coming from my perspective, where it's like, oh, I can remove the gun and I have my full screen instead of someone like running under my gun and I can't see them or it's hard. You know what I mean? Like, it just fucking bothers me that I can't. That's why. That's why I'm so happy that Fortnite is a thing because I think it's really the greatest FPS. Lol. I almost thought you were serious for a moment. I almost cut the stream immediately and unfriended you on. 
exactly what's up. Moon, Moon with a mistake. That is, is awesome. This that is really a fan worthy shit it. right there that you just said. What? What? The, really? Literally the only thing I think that's interesting about Fortnite, and it it is I think a really significant thing that no one is doing or will do because they're afraid to be called copycats. Building, building is a good idea. And here is why. In FPS, one of the ways that you can. The spearhead of the like, army. what made Counter-Strike interesting was that like, you have angles in a map. You have angles, right? Like, um, or you can use terrain to your advantage as well. Um, and so one of the cool things about Counter-Strike when it first came out is that you can alter what is viable in terms of an angle using YouTube, right? And what I really love about building is just like, you know, like, um, yeah, yeah, that's the most important thing. Yeah. At least the hit yeah. writers to get yeah. it. There's a lot of, lot of death going on right now for the night with this. A lot of good experience. But nobody pays attention to Frenzy Gold. They just died. Except Happy. Nope. This is probably one. So much value. Statue it is an interesting game. Game. I think, look, like, Mana Burn is just really good. So recent, I think he's been really cool. Right is he overestimating, um, uh, underestimating his strength, his strength again? Or his sustain? No. So having Mana Burn is a good idea. Also, I don't think he's, so his front line just kind of kept melting and he didn't have anything to that thing, the spell will be there, But not only did he get the negation, he had to use for the level 2 or He's close, he gets it! Okay. Yeah, or oh, or sorry, um, also, I don't think Breath of Fire wasn't doing that here. much he because he didn't go through it, right? So, uh, he goals so, goals and other he stuff pretty quickly. To right, he didn't go a lot of ghouls. He had a lot of abomination, I think. Right, which is not, Breath of Fire is not really that strong here. I think it's only because it offers more. Almost. So I think he probably, either Moon felt like he was winning the early game strong enough and in the game. No statue at the moment for Happy Big Brawl. He needs those statues at all times to provide the region from the back. A lot of fairies coming in. Happy Big Brawl. 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 And willing to fight Harry without mana. Mana burn should be coming in again literally soon to prevent that Nova. No, ends up on the DK. He's gonna call him an evasion based tank, but that means the double nuke should probably get him pretty quick. The destroyer a little too far forward, quickly enough with the move away, but still not quite remember. The mana though also dropping lower HP. The damage from the lift is starting to add up. Now he's level 3, and this level 2 aura dude is saving him so many units. I don't know. This is a matchup I wish I could see. But the demon hunter again. Oh, okay. Maybe chance for more. Here to counter your point, that you think that you could do more. That's why the demon hunter is also really good. It's because mana burn. So look at this. Oh, that's right. True. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Lich is being under attack a little. Damage is ending up on those fairies. Still three webs. Happy is not the same. As you were saying, I was going to say before using the demon, or kind of around the same time, the staff came out. But Moon Supply plummeting down to 44 only. Happy at 44 himself. He had pretty much a 10 supply lead starting this fight in the first new terrain. That's the right word. If you're creating new with utilities. I was gonna say destructible environments. This is starting to look a lot like our game earlier against one two zero. Of course, the second hero differs. And actually, Rainbow Six Siege right now is probably your number one that you can shoot through walls and create new angles. One of it can be really nice. Put that on the yeah, it's going to take him that long for us to think about. It's one of those things that once Fortnite did it, and Rainbow Six has been doing it for a while. Like I remember the OG Rainbow Six games, and you had sort of that idea to play, and that's interesting. Have have that that. Straight, Straight up battles, but with it's, I think I think the destructible terrain is one of those things where I can't believe I've never thought of that expansion. before. That's yeah, genius. Yeah, like, why didn't anyone think of that before? It's really smart. They did what they did. It's fucking meaningless. But it's it's level three, big level up for him on the demon. Double potions. And here we go. The big fight. Will Happy be able to counter this? He has double potions on the demon. Look at double potions. No mana burn here. 
Against the DK, at least. Potions don't break on no. hit, I guess. Illusions all taken all out pretty quickly. Uh, no, they're uh, instant. Fiend still left alive. Yeah. 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 And so yeah. yeah. is the DK. Yeah. Level 5 already. No. Must, must be all uh, at this so point, carry actually. Fire, uh, the Nova uh, immediately as soon as he has Fairy Dragons turn into that little star mode. But the webs are coming in and it prevents this damage. And also they gain 10 armor when they're after the lantern mode or the web. That's nice. He finds the wave. Oh, Chris. Oh, Zach. No, they don't. That's the other thing, by the way. I'm pretty sure it is. Making them so quick. I keep dropping lower there as well somewhat. The Fairy Dragons, though, all disappearing. And here you can see there's a severe lack of damage. Not even Acid Bomb in this. The Steam Hunter can never connect with his damage. He's always just chasing. He's always just being guided. No GP and no potion! What's he doing? Let's stop chasing, but he is definitely out of this fight. More kills. He wants more experience. He wants that level 5 blitz. And he's moving for his supply. Moon is dropping lower. And more yeah. webs, no more kills. kills. No lumber, can't use with really. Six oh, fairies, man. that's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. that's, that's nothing. And more and more, more fiend production, production coming in over and over. And over. Double, Double scroll of healing now on the DK. Well, well, if I can't heal with coils, I guess I heal with coils. That's what he says. Wait, isn't this level 2 aura? I think it's level 2. So, with Entangle, you can... You can root a hero right. or a unit, is, is and Moon it? Hunter is free reign. Is but ready. a destroyer can no dispel the angle. Um, uh, um, so oh, Demon Hunter again. Open to this fight with the new Gunga Keeper again. This time he has a potion, but we'll burn through this fast. Illusions here confusing. Doesn't know which one the real Demon Hunter is, perhaps. But he doesn't have to aim for him. Now he knows the real one, though. Can't just take out the fairies. It's so easy to micro against this now. It's always yeah. a sign no. when, when the undead, undead stops, stops to kite and stays in the straight up battle. Oh, oh that demon hunter is getting real low. Moon is almost losing the demon hunter. Oh, 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 no mana burn here. Yeah, 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 there's no damage. The keeper is the only source of damage. Level 5 for the lead. GG! Happy Hands Match Points! Yeah. On one of the strongest maps for Moon, Happy. Still makes it work. <sighs> I don't know, he needs a different source of damage. Um, I don't know, I need like counter how often I said that in this tournament. How many units did you save in a deep, deep, deep red HP range? Um, this is man, so China loves the fuck out of Warcraft 3, so I don't know. This is so crazy. That level 4 on the DK, though, came I think that's Chinese, those are Chinese level characters or something? I don't know, man. Saving him so many units. I'm racist. I'm Moon was close to... <laughs> or we just don't know was close to getting up to that different languages, because we're American and uneducated. Then if he gets the burn, he's rolling as well, it's gonna be... Massively uneducated. Can we get that back, please? To be you, those spells have to be on that side. We are the poorest... Yeah, Moon making a duck face right now. What happened to people in my... I that game was going well. well. The keeper started off with plus 10 damage after the first two creep counts. He got level 3 pretty quickly. He got the extra inflation. He didn't lose many archers at all. The demon hunter once again did a good job burning. Got the level 3. That trophy is so sick. Oh my god. But he didn't lose heroes either. But he couldn't find the kill. The response is the reaction too fast. Happy. I'll keep it being good for now. You fast forwarding to the next uh, game? Yeah. Next set, whatever. Send out I mean, these are knowledgeable commentators, and so Will the I, I, like I care about what they Normally, you don't look there. I'm just Normally, like, I'm you just the check, the check the spawning positions. Yeah, dude. Um, I'm just enjoying hanging out, man. If he does, yeah. we gotta do this more. Kind of can eliminate a lot of options for the rest of the map. He's not. And I had someone that's yeah. like, yeah, I want to open an actual sports bar. You know, I like the garbage that they have in Las Vegas right now. He knows where the stock is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so, for like, you know, I find round, eight, round of eight, round of four. It's going towards it though! I, I have all the GSLs, all the ASLs, read. the RLCS, the okay. ACS. Who did this before? Oh, on other positions, he God. finds what, it. What's happening? And there's this there's might there's be an there's auto there's win. Hello. Did he Not find like anymore. a... Secret base. So close position, like he spawned close. So this is like a gamble that Moon took. Like, hope you don't spawn close position to me, bro. This keeper is gonna be stuck on level one forever. Yeah, the commentator just put it well. So the DK comes out in one, like super close one. Against one zero, Moon vetoed this. Not here though, because there is no safe camp to start with. In theory, there's a I think Happy wins this. I don't understand how you recover from this because like Moon was having uh, the hero advantage long, early and the econ advantage early. Minutes, so there is definitely yeah, blocked. a reason nope. why this nope. is totally blocked. blocked. I'm happy. I don't fuck this up. Oh, apparently he does. Okay. 
I'm just also really hard to do. I think he should be out right? Yeah, he should be out cool. So, um, the Ancient of War was built right to the, you know, see that gold mine? To the bottom left of, of Happy's base. Uh-huh. So the Ancient War was built there, so you build, the idea is you build one archer, you pull, so, oh my god. Double Rex hunts. Proxy. Oh, the balls of steel, bro. Okay, so he goes for that creep, happy spots it, and he's close positions to it. So he's going to be able to stop that. So what does Moon do? Moon hasn't revealed that he actually has Entangle and not Trent. So I think he has Entangle and not Trent because he's going double Rax Huntress. He has a proxy Ancient of War atop fucking happy base. Proxy that shit, he can't see it. And now he's going to go hunt. Hunts are fucking good. Good, good, good. Oh my god, does he really see it? Oh, he sees it pretty well. If he was watching what his acolyte is Oh, you could see it in Moon's face. He's so upset. That, that was pretty lucky, lucky honestly, with how the timing worked out there. But oh, sometimes no. it's a little bit of luck. It's, it's not 100% guaranteed, guaranteed that he sees it because he's still at the 6 o'clock. True. Yeah, I don't know. He's actually looking at the mini-map. There's no way you have to get across like that. He sees the engine of war. Yeah. This is a massive tell. So he still has to build a grid. So this guy's proxy is a And he's had both of his buildings scouted. That's so painful. Well, so he wanted to creep for the first building, which is like pretty standard and actually really safe. It's just not safe when you're that close. It's not safe when you're really essence of gargoyles. Yeah, yeah, basically. Of death for the DK now. Yeah. Scout and harass and then get back when things get Um, and that's one. I would say that that's one of the biggest issues with this game still. Is um. There are certain things that are considered standard and default and safe. Or like you have to gamble it because you have to do it. And some map designs are just like, well, fuck you. Like it's a, this, this is a frankly a bad map design. Like there are certain things that you do that you just lose on. Um, well, I mean, some maps are be great. You're gonna have maps that are yeah. But this map, Twisted Meadows has been in a map pool for like fucking man, dude, 15 years. Like. Like, there was there was a map at least in DK Starcraft down 2, here to harass, or like Starcraft 1, I mean, Brood War, Zero and like, they've never had to pull a map, I forget what season it was and what the map right. was called, time but it was so bad, and like, so uh, imbalanced one way or another, they actually pulled it like mid-season, they're like, we're just using an old map, because it would be like, the map pool would be like six maps, or five maps, or four maps, and depending, they would switch one or two in and out like every three months or so. And they tried like this new concept. It was so terrible. Like mid season. But there's no dust. Okay. Shit, I'm gonna have to. First two dark surrounds. So, so here we get it with a little bit more standard. Um, the standard to what I'm used to, a bombs might be standard um, against the Panda Brew, Brewmaster. Um, so he just went gargoyles. That's a big deal. Okay, so Huntresses cannot attack air. You know that. Um, gargoyles do piss and damage. And they do a good amount of damage. So we're gonna see a lot of damage on the wisps. So also, this is this is why generally when when you play Night Elf against Undead, you're hiding wisps all over the map because there's no real safe way to protect. Against Gargoyles. So Gargoyles are going to do shit tons of damage, he's probably going to get the cancel on that for free because he can't go with stuff. Mistake by happening, I'm splitting them. And then Tangle again for DK, does he have to get out early? Yes, Can he heal himself? Would it have given him the kill? No, he cannot. I didn't think so. I think Entangle cooldown is done, so he has to run away. And, and he was, he was considering for a long time to go for more guards or for the lich. In the end, it was the guards, but they're late. These also could have been much earlier. These two guards earlier, plus the skeleton, this would have been a cancel. I think he still gets the cancel. No, of course, I could away. He should. Where are those guards? With the two additional ones, counter tiger Yeah, but he needs to hit the echo. But the new ones are coming in, and now he has to kill Mass and kill the echo. Nothing is working for Moon. Because you're not really Archer, safe though? to do that either. Yes, the the yeah, undead base is The Huntress was just hitting the crypt. Nice. Why would it do that? Like yeah. um, I mean, yeah, you could go for... I think you should go for the pool there. 
Yeah. Um, Alchemist second. Wood mining. I don't think you go for the Acolyte because you're probably going to be in range of the Erubian Tower, which means you're probably going to get a dead Hunter if they decide to go back. The Erubians are the slows, right? And then they would just send whatever balls they have mining to kill your Huntress. Uh, right, see. and this is the thing is that Huntresses are oh, really yes. strong until there's a lot of piercing damage. Cancel this, this as well. Um, and right now there is. Ooh, this is what we used to see back in 2010, 2010 all the yeah. time. So annoying for the Nihilists to deal with. Yeah. But Moon, of course, has played against this plenty of time with the lore. Okay, good. Yes. Good. Because if he loses that lore, it's like over. Um, because he needs Dryads right now, like right now. Okay, no stab. What's the alchemist doing in here? So the alchemist got buffed. Um, his healing spray is now fucking also, stupid good, <laughs> um, and he'll need it. So he needs to combat Quail Nova because uh, gargoyles. Like one of the really things that I thought strategically was really interesting in Warcraft Three is, like I said, you have the army of energy, con advantage, and hero advantage. Um, the hero advantage when you're fighting gargoyles is the hardest thing to overcome. So gargoyles do piercing damage, right? And piercing damage, and they're also vulnerable to piercing damage. Um, so they, so usually like archers are your best bet. Well, the thing is, Coral Nova fucking omnoms archers, like they just die. Um, and undead army is fast, Who's right? You don't even need to engage. They, like they come in, coil Nova, run away. Come in, coil Nova, run away. Like, rinse, repeat, you're dead. You so you have to use Dryads. <laughs> um, dryads are immune to magic damage, so that problem is negated. But then you have the issue of fucking Gargoyles being pretty good against Dryads still, and also more mobile than Dryads. Um, so, I think what Moon probably wants to do here is utilize Healing Spray so that there's a little bit more longevity in his archers and he can do a standing fight. Because he needs to pro he's probably going to try to amass enough Archer Dryad to take a base. Um, so to get some sort of econ advantage, because right now he's, he's down on a lot. Of bonus spirits here still. Yeah, look at how fast that dry is. Oh, oh, right away, but the dry is oh, 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 from Moon, as we always oh, know it is. Three HP. We have Stone Form coming in. It's hard to take them out. It's maybe a little easier. Stone Form is on the other side. on the Alchemist. Barely makes it out. No mana anymore for Executive Coil. Oh my god, Moon is Moon kiting everywhere in 360 degrees. This is so well done. Bro, this battle. DK just needs one more kill for the level up. Ranking happy from all sides. Where the fuck is he screaming? Did he just scream lock? Oh my god, these saves. Have you seen a lot of Dota? So close, but the Alchemist, can he connect? He's seriously in every single direction he's saving units. Happy can't follow. You know, I think I know you're talking about the DK. But that was a tremendous beginning of this fight. Oh my god! Does he have like 800 APM or something? He's doing everything right! Finally a Dryad kill! But how long did this fight last until he finally lost something? Oh my god, man. No one else no one else survives that. Even even wow. happy is like shaking. Is it the level two aura by the way? I don't think it is. Oh my god. He's not playing against a demon hunter, so he's, so he's not getting burned. burned. Yeah. He, he should, should go for Alchemist with a belt of strength. Still expansion. Plus six. You're supposed Three. to play expo at one point. Three. Sorry. Uh, what were you saying before? Like, like Moon is going upkeep on the. Oh, I was just saying the grip. Dota players use it. I don't know if RTS players use it. Dude. Yeah. That is my Like, no, I don't know how else you <laughs> No question that he has the best drive control in the world. Oh, God. Which, I mean, Moon can probably do. I mean, I, I don't use this. The level of play in this grand final, and this is top four. I mean, that I'm used to just moving my mouse to the bottom of the screen. Flicking it back yeah. up and doing whatever I gotta do, you know. Yeah, but the way that how quickly he's doing that makes me think like maybe he was doing that because that was just so fast. Good, but still not great. Like wide scale, yeah, like he was basically like a round happy army. Yeah, I saw. Like, it, was, it was good. I'm also probably not used to seeing that in Warcraft 3 because remember that this game was initially released for 4x3 aspect.
Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Reading this oh, oh, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's gonna get, get back. One, back. Step four by three. You mean 640 by 480 was like no the jam three. back in the day? No scroll. Dude, 800, 800 by 640. Like, like, oh my god, I hope my fucking GeForce, my new GeForce X one card can be Dude, I remember having like a 260 or 280 or something. Oh my god. Oh my god. Not That's like when I, but, yeah, you know, when I worked at Patrol and I think like that guy's like, 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 I remember when 32 megabytes of RAM was a lot! Oh my god! Now we're that guy. I remember when I had to delete everything off of my computer because Warcraft 2 was a whopping 32 megabytes. I remember the Diablo 2 was like almost a gig, and I was like, what is this shit? Why is it on four discs? Yeah, it was on four. Yes, <laughs> multiple <laughs> disc games. Oh, oh my god! What comes in and what are you talking about? See this? See, this see right here. I don't understand why he doesn't just have. See how Moon has that one thing. I would just send one gargoyle to right click that dry. For healing, a bomb is so low though. And then he runs the dry out of way. Like eventually, the gargoyle is just going to kill him. This is all so pretty sick. I don't know. Right, then you're ghosting. Nope. You're ghosting. Can't go in with the guards again. Beats the A bomb. Everything is hurt. You can't get out of the way. Oh! And you think when you don't know what's going on. Oh, it's just some shadow melt. And the statue is down as well. Oh my god, Moon! Is Moon gonna bring this back? Yeah, he's gonna bring it back. Level 4, okay, but can he still run away? There is a coil, has to use it on the ledge. Don't go gargoyles against Moon. He's just. I remember one time that I played with, I told you I played with Frost and Little Brother. Yeah. And he was close position. And the Dryad Scout the expansion, of course. He was close position Holy Jesus. Uh, can Happy recover? So human versus Night Elf close position to the rock was so unbalanced they actually removed close signs from the game. It was like, it was like 90-10. It was really bad for Night Elf. Keeper, um, and I remember uh, T zero 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 in a yeah. big final against the Moon, uh, where everyone was like, I don't know, is, is, who can beat Moon? I don't know. He's the fifth raiser. T zero zero wins, and he delays the tower rush that's considered imbalance. And I was trying to shriek. I was like, what the fuck? Why didn't he just go for the tower rush? Like it's an auto win. And he's like, yeah, it's an auto win until you're against Moon. Like, I was like, what do you mean? He's like, dude, like, you can't just fucking tower rush me. I'm like, dude, it's close to the internal lock. Yeah, you can. I was like, no. No, Moon wins. I'm like, I'm like, what? This might be the hero kill. This might be the equalizer. DK's pretty fast with a level 2 or Like, you don't understand it. Trying to get the keeper with a bit of healing. He gets the keeper! Oh, he's got it! And now, can he save this? Oh, boy, might she lose? DK still due to the acid bomb, he's got most of the movies! The acid bomb, the But there's still so many drives. 57 supply. But the lynches are getting down, the alchemist is still chasing the DK to get a Oh, there's a ZZ out now. There's a ZZ out now as well, which is working over time. The lynch is super crazy. How good are He's killing so much! That good. That I was getting really focused though, there's gonna be another acid bomb right now! Right now, Moon is big more than Jen. There's a major factor. Coil on the Lich. What is the fucking Keeper alive? I don't see it on the map yet. This is a disease cloud again. Oh my god, we're just starting this around. So, okay, right now, Moon's crazy. My crew is all based on the fact that he is relying on the Dryad. This almost got the entangled, which would have been the kill, but he's done that before. Or the idea of regenerating your units is like gone. So he needs to either use Moonwall Juice or he needs to just leave this fight. And he can't use Moonwall Juice because Moonwall Juice is at his base. And I guess what was a 125 HP DK? Oh my god, dude, it's so gross. Look at all these dragon levels. It's crazy. Great micro. Like, this is always like the end of Moon fight. Like, it's every unit yeah, from like 1 HP, he's like, yeah, it's coming. You don't do that? Oh, it's too bad. So he's just getting a spray to heal, but why would he not use his moon wells to get that spray to heal? It's more efficient to use moon well juice on the Alk's mana, and then heal it. Oh, okay, so I didn't know you could get him with moon well juice. Yeah. Wagon's coming in now. 
Usually mana is a lot, and it was sort of not worth Dual using, but this dynamic just changed because of the Alchemist on the field. Yeah. Also, Alchemist level 3 big deal. Safe, big going deal. for TP, I like that. Not, not risking, risking too much. much. Oh, oh, as well. oh, I would love if he upgrades through a tower as well. Just oh, dude, no, this Lich is just going to live forever. Forever. Pyropad of Vitality, Potion of Invul. Acrility boots plus six, dreams plus armor, and then you fucking have a DK babysitting it. Good luck killing the DK. Oh, can he snipe the meat wagon? Oh, oh my god, he's got the alchemist. So damage on the alchemist. What a fight now! He has siege damage against this, but the dryads are jumping on them. No oh damage god. against him. He wants to get the third position. Oh, it's like fucking zero damage against fucking so much damage on the hero! Can he kill the alchemist? Human siege tanks that can move and kite. He's coming! Is it a kill? Oh my god! Five supply! Oh, is it no, 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 Moon, Moon can't, can't allow, allow these wagons, wagons to reach his base. base. There's, There's one, one spirit, spirit tower, tower here, here. All right, only which is already, which is already tough, tough for the drive, but at least not two. Sorry. The Hunt's Hunt proxy sees his attack coming in. in. How, How are you are supposed to hold this tree against this mass siege there? I have to go pick up my friend at the airport, yeah. but I don't want to... Drives with the piercing. They're tickling the building. Not even sure if he has to be to be honest. So Moon has to TP and then walk. This is a crazy match. I can't believe Moon has found a way to come back after fucking... TP, is that the last stand for Moon already? Oh, so much damage repair came in late. Have he killed the expo? Losing one meat wagon. Is he even willing to get out there? Oh, he's going for the ultimate. Again. Is that the hero? That's nothing on it! Alchemist dead! Now no acid bomb! The meat wagons, the damage are out! Too much to keep up! Oh, the keeper's gonna go down! Oh my god! Yes! We have a Western World Champion! Happy! He's not considering himself a competitive player, if you know what? Because there's no competition for the Western! I love this caster! In the world! Dude, the casters, the casters love Amazing. this game more than all of them. These casters are fucking hype. Getting the title in the first place! The trophy, the throne, the trophy, the throne to, to the Emperor! Emperor. He claims that it in like China Chinese as well. China. Yes. There's no, no doubt! I can tell the difference. Absolutely no doubt! Lin dead! TH dead! dead. Yeah. Moon oh, dead! dead that's interesting that so many Chinese people and showed the West up. Has the first champion in nine and a half years. Yeah, I guess more than Dota. So in TI, when the Chinese teams get eliminated, like the Chinese people don't even show up. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. Like there's a huge uh, audience loss. I am uh, sincerely happy about it. Uh, well, I seriously don't know. Yeah, what I'm shocked that they showed up for just a Korean and a European. Oh, the only really big deal. Chinese player, well, there were two. There was Lin and this guy. I think they should be Wait, is she translating? I don't know. Sorry, I told you. Now you have to Yeah, she is. She's in English. Okay. I was like, is he responding in English to her Chinese? Like, what's going on here? Probably gonna save up for future, like always. <laughs> I know what an enchantress is. He actually did it. I mean, like, you'll pick one of the I think there's probably the match -ups because there are fucking four races, right? So you have four, four matchups, then there's the maps and stuff like that. So, yeah, a lot of game just, knowledge. There's so, it's not just the maps, but there's so many units and like all the different types of armor and attacking and things like yeah it's just a lot to learn but I'll, I'll yeah. i mean i think mobas are more challenging to learn frankly uh depends i think 
so much to know in those games, dude. You're like, oh, yeah, but I'm gonna yeah. build this item because of this hero's on the map, and he's at this level with this advantage, and he invested I mean, in this it, item. So it, it's the items. combinations <laughs> is what really gets. It's when you have multiple heroes doing all sorts of combos. Um, I'll have to send you this one we hope to see him here again at uh, Warlock Brimstroke thing that That's just annihilated an entire team. Here we have um, but it's not just like two man or, or three man combos, it's just yeah, place to moon, third the variable to China with th and calculation becomes quite complex. But that's the beauty of Dota. It's a fun R game. RTS is a different type of knowledge. And there's yeah. so much more so much more going on, like in terms of macro and um, Having to be like a build order and and yeah, it's not just build, but it's knowing the maps as intricately as possible, and it's not just what build order beats what, but like how many. It's it's seeing the fight that's about to happen, and in Dota, it's the same thing. Like you, like what you can see, like oh, there's seven cannons versus twelve hydralis. Can I win that? And you have to know instantly. And, uh, that's a very simple one. In Dota, that'd be like oh, it's my one hero versus his one hero with his items and my items and my level and his level. Who's gonna win if I? you know for him do something so but then there's also the, like the level of micro and what you can do with micro and like yeah because it's like it's like in fucking counter-strike it's like this guy's got an op and i got a deagle i'm taking the shot i'm going for the one tap bro <laughs> i'm going for the juan baby the juan. And sometimes it works man the juan. sometimes juan comes out man well they expect you to like you know no, shoulder peek it and you know fake it and then go so they like hold and you just fucking straight balls to the wall go big and get the one tap and it's like oh you thought i was faking it huh nope yeah anyway all right man oh my god this, what it was there was a bunch of spell shields he went banshees where did he fucking go banshees against night elf sorry that was like a weird like we're gonna have to watch that fucking teaser anyway dude i'm down to watch okay. round of four round of eight whenever you want yeah for sure yeah, i can't wait that's All right. fucking hype. Oh, okay. I'm gonna kill the stream. So, All right. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Bye.